Another anatomy dependent piercing, meaning not everyone can get it, but if you can, there's a bunch of really cool jewelry options. Today, we're talking about the flat piercing. So the flat piercing is a cartilage piercing. It's basically in the center of your ear, almost where I have my large plug up top. Now, a lot of people, when they have their, their ears, they actually have a lot of curves to them. And if you have a lot of curves to the area, the piercing actually won't work too well. Now, the ears we're really looking for have a large flat surface. This supports large flat jewelry and gives you all those cool jewelry options. With this piercing, everyone's ear shape is gonna be completely different. And what you're looking for is the center of the cartilage. Now you're gonna to have to trust your piercer that the dot's in the right spot, or use your camera phone and maybe take a good picture of it, because when you're looking from the front, it may not look the center, but it's the side profile that really, really matters. Now also with this one, it's typically down a little bit and in far enough where you're not gonna be able to wear a ring. Typically, people are going to wear a barbell in here or a labrette, and it gives you a lot of cool jewelry options with all the different flowers and clusters to wear in the top. Now, typically, I tell people not to wear a cluster similar to this one here where it has the, the curve because it's going to spin like a propeller. You want to find something that's round and symmetrical like one of these trinities here or one of these flowers. Again, I'm gonna give you a huge window here. It could be as little as three or four months, but expect six months to a year to heal on this one. Think about it, if you're sleeping on it, if your mask getting caught on there, if you're just constantly bumping or hitting it from your glasses or everyday life, all these things are gonna be irritating your piercing, taking longer for it to heal. Now the thing is, is we have to put a longer stud in there to start the piercing to accommodate room for swelling. But once your piercing's healed up enough, and the swelling's gone down, you need to downsize. The reason being is this is the number one piercing that I see migrating and turning sideways. Once your jewelry turns sideways, that large flat piece of jewelry you want to put on there is not gonna sit flat against your ear. So generally between maybe two months and four months, you definitely wanna downsize. Sooner the better, as long as it feels and looks good. Now, if you're a fan of my channel, you know that cartilage piercings generally hurt a little more than most others, especially like the softer tissue ones. It makes sense. Now, this area is a lot thinner than most other cartilage, so therefore it's less painful? Let's check it out. Kind of expected that. It's a little painful, but it's really not that high up because like I said, it is thinner. Now the issues you're gonna have is getting it caught, snagged on things or sleeping on it. Other than that, the piercing, that's not too bad. I am a piercer, so I am a fan of a lot of these piercings, but this one is definitely higher up on the list. I obviously like big jewelry, and this you can do super fancy ornate stuff and wear it all the time. Now, I already have my plug up top there, and with that, I can't do the fancy ornate jewelry like what a lot of you are wearing in these flat piercings. So am I a fan of this piercing? Yes, I am. So what do you guys think? Do you like bigger jewelry up in the flat or smaller jewelry? Let me know in the comments. Now, if you enjoyed my video, do me a favor, hit that like, make sure to subscribe, and of course, keep putting holes to your body. We'll see you all in the next video.